YouTube remote feed by Cocomelon and Distrack. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about what are the reasons why YouTube removed the Distrack video. On Twitter, YouTube posted the Distrack on Cocomelon got removed because they violated two policies. One, harassment and cyberbullying. Second, on child safety. Hey, my name is Vinod and I make YouTube growth related videos. If you find this videos are interesting and engaging, please subscribe to the channel and set the bell notification to all so that whenever I put new videos, you will get notified. Basically, distract main purpose is to verbally attack someone. In this video, Feedy Boy was making fun of Cocomelon. Now, Cocomelon crossed over 105 million subscribers. They are about to cross over Feedipine. So that's why he released this diss track and Cocomelon of course they are kids channel They upload kids nursery ranks. So Feedipine making fun of uh, Cocomelon and on this diss track it was a it was like a parody kind of a song where kids were featured in it In some parts of the video that violates YouTube policies though uh, that's why they actually removed the video in this video, Feedipi also dissed 6 9 We'll see what are the reasons for this. There are some images and themes for kids, but containing inappropriate content. Actually, it looked like a kid's video, but when you clicked, it wasn't. It's a parody kind of a kid's video, and it got removed because if a kid clicked on this video, they would actually come across a bunch of swearing bats and some sort of violence. This makes sense too. I guess from YouTube point of view, it provoked harassment at other creators. YouTube allowed criticism, but it crossed the limit when they gave some screenshots. So basically YouTube doesn't want their other creators sending hate to other channel where they're going to look into. From my point of view, YouTube removed this video for child safety. If a kid saw this video, it briefly would think, yeah, this video is a kid's video and it's about a coca melon where kids are dancing in this. However, the lyrics were completely not for kids where some some sort of violent scenes where kids were using cardboard, wire, cardboard weapons to chop a melon and shoot a melon. Actually, this kid's video or actually this video was not made for kids. And it not targeted for kids rather than taking that video down YouTube could have just age restricted so if a kid tried to watch this video they could have signed into an adult account I guess the problem is with YouTube algorithm it thought this video was made for kids because it's a song of Pokemon and it got children playing in this video feed if I said at the same this is the end of Pokemon and stuff. So I am he is moving from this and this is the final video. So obviously he is not trying to harm Pokemon and or send his sardines to attack them. He didn't really dissed Pokemon. So he he much even said that he loves Pokemon. Most people who watch the video knows it all joke and not actually meant target for Pokemon or harass them. Even in YouTube harassment policy. It says distract are okay, and there are some of uh, there are some exceptions that rule the which says scripted performance, stand up comedy, or allowed in in the context of artistic mediums. My final thoughts here: there are some worst videos are being age restricted. YouTube could have age restricted this video too. On another note, YouTube doesn't show any partiality on how small or how big the channel is. If they violate the video, if they violate their policy, they remove the video. If they haven't removed the video, it earned a lot of money. But YouTube needs ethic over the revenue. On this note, I wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your YouTube friends. We'll see you in another informative video. Until then, stay safe.